All right, this video is to show how to operate the locking clasp on the back of this watch. Um, the first thing you need to do is remove the lock. Now sometimes the lock can be very difficult to pop up when you first get it. So you might have to get a screwdriver, put it in there and twist. It's going to take probably more pressure than that because some of these are really stiff to begin with. But as you can see, all it is is just it's just a hinge. So this hinges down and it locks and it keeps this thing from coming open. So once you get that loose, then you press in on these tabs and that releases the watch band. Okay. Now putting the watch on can be a little bit tricky. Once you put it on, you start going like this, and then you start going like like that, and it's like, what the heck is going on here? I can't figure out how to, I, what's going on? I can't figure out how to get this silly, stupid watch on. You know, you try it th this way, you try it that way, and it's not working because you're doing it wrong. All you have to do is look for the part with the two tabs on the end, like this, okay? So that part needs to have this part folded under it. And once you fold it under, then it just goes on just like that. Okay. And then you lock it, and that's it. You can take the links out and make the watch smaller or bigger, depending on your wrist size. Take this off again. One thing you can do if you haven't figured it out yet is you can take this pin out and shorten the watch a little bit, but if you need to shorten it even more, you can do that by selecting one of these links that has an arrow on it and just sticking a small screwdriver in there and rotating. See how that pin's coming out? You can see how it's come out. And then you just use a pair of, uh, well I'm just using side cutters for, for now because I can't find anything else. You just grip the link and that pin comes right out just like that. Okay, so now once that pin is out, you rotate the watch this way and then slide it out. You can see how those notches are lined up. So you have to turn it at an angle. So to put it back in, you turn it at an angle, go just like that, and then it holds. So to get it out, rotate it, and just pull it right out. And then you can remove the other pin. So we would remove the second pin right here and pull that link out and then reattach so you end up like that. So you basically have to pull two of these out in order to remove one link. So to put it back together, I'll just pretend like I removed a link already. You slide that back in, just like that. You take this pin, put it back where it came from. Make sure you line it up right. Try again to line it up right. There it goes. And then just shove it home. And now you've removed a link and made it shorter. Okay? Hope this video helped you guys. If you have any more questions, just uh, write below in the comments.